Hello world, welcome back to Razor RC. We are Don. Team Associate B74.1 Team Kit is complete. I spent about, I think about nine hours building this. So that includes everything except the tires and wheels because I already had a set mocked up so uh, didn't have to glue those up. Also the motor was already wired to my ESC. I'm basically reusing the electronics from my B74 and so that sped things up a little bit. So I just want to cover uh, what I actually, uh, how the build went. First off, let's just kind of talk about the electronics I'm running. I'm running the Hobbywing V3.1 stock spec ESC. Team Powers in the half turn Actinium V2 motor. Savax 1267T uh, SG uh, servo. I've never ran this servo before, so we'll see how that goes. RX482 uh, receiver by Sanwa. And then I'm running a Gen's Ace 6000 milliamp hour red line battery. So. Uh, yeah, overall the battery, uh, the, the build went pretty well. Um, few little issues. It builds pretty much exactly the same as the B74, so if you're familiar with that build, uh, this will go together pretty much the exact same way. Um, although there were quite a few errors in the manual actually. So some little things that weren't a big deal, like screws that were not labeled or whatever. Um, I would recommend checking out the team associated website and downloading the latest B74.1 manual because it looks like they corrected everything uh, for the most part. So that will have the latest, but yeah, there were a few things in the manual that, uh, caused me some trouble. So first off is the rear arms here. So the rear arms and these little spacers were just like crazy tight on the back. So you will have to file those down because they do not move freely. I mean, even after sanding filing, uh, I still have a little bit of binding. I'm just gonna hope it wears in. Otherwise I'll have to do some more sanding and filing. Uh, that was one big one. That's probably the biggest issue. The second one is these little pills here were not labeled. So I kind of drew a one in there. So it's actually a one degree to the outside. Make sure you use the right uh, pills because it wasn't labeled. They have half degree and one degree ones. And so, yeah, you want to run the one degree outs. That reduces the rear toe in by one degree. So it's probably like one and a half degrees or something like that. Um, going through the manual, other little things. Let's see. Yeah, the other big one that will cause you some trouble is the uh, shocks. So it comes with actually limiters from the front and rear shocks. It's two limiters in the front and one in the rear. It's not labeled here. And uh, yeah, if you put it together without putting in those limiters, your droop will be totally off and uh, it'll be, be a big pain to take those out and redo the shocks. I definitely recommend you check that out. Um, and the last thing is that uh, I wasn't exactly sure what servo horn uh, to use in the back it actually says that the 15 and a half turn is the uh, optional aluminum uh, servo horn so I thought that meant this came with a 15 and a half servo horn but that's not actually correct do not buy these parts they are the wrong servo horn these are actually for uh, B6.2 um, the B74 and B74.1 servo horns are going to be 18 and a half or 20 I'm using the stock plastic one actually so uh, I think that's what I ran on my B74 actually. I thought I had a B74 aluminum server horn, but I couldn't find it. So I guess I ran the plastic one and uh, must have ran that for a while and no real issues there. So yeah, overall the build went uh, quite nicely. I wish they made a little plastic uh, shock guard for the shock tower here. Um, I just kind of grabbed, I think it's like a B64 uh, front bumper or something like that. So I'm just running that as a shock guard. And then I just used a little piece of vinyl for my uh, chassis protector there on the bottom body went together totally fine. They do have two options for the window mask. So you can use the large window or the small window. I went large window. Uh, my paint scheme is getting a little, still a little ugly. I need to work on that a little bit. But yeah, the build is all put together. Uh, I'm definitely going to run this thing and see how it performs. Um, you know, overall pretty good build. Just make sure you check out those little spacers on the back, file them down if necessary. I mean, you could sand down the arms, but then if you break an arm, you have to sand down another pair. So I do recommend just sanding down those little spacers. You could probably also use like a one and a half millimeter spacer on the rear. I think it's a two millimeter out of the box. Um, that would also get you going. And then, uh, yeah, just double check on the shock limiters in the front because, um, yeah, you will definitely want to put two spacers up front, one in the rear. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's my quick review of the B74.1. I'm going to definitely take the track and see how it performs. And uh, yeah, ready and excited about trying that. So anyways, thanks for watching. Definitely hit the like, share, subscribe button. Look for more videos soon. Take care.